YouTube! Today I'm going to be showing you how I did my Little Prince painting. You can see at the very beginning I showed you the picture that I used as a reference for this painting. If anybody wants to follow along with what I'm doing, that is the picture that I used for reference. I'm basically just doing the cover of the book and trying to recreate it with acrylic paints. So right now I'm sketching it out. Um, just did a big circle in the middle of the page and then roughly sketched everything because when you're doing an acrylic painting the pencil underneath gets covered up so it's just kind of a rough guideline of where everything's gonna go Can I get no sleep over bridges under the mountain rolling through so now I'm getting out my paints, I'm going to use this white and just do a wash of color on the background because I'm going to be putting this in my bullet journal and I want it to be a similar color to the rest of the pages. If you've seen my first bullet journal video, then you've seen this painting. So I'm just mixing my paints together. I decided to go with some purpley colors to paint the planet. I think I tried to recreate the original cover of the book as best as I could, but I think that that one was done in watercolors, so it's a little bit hard to do a watercolor effect with acrylic paints. So I used a few different brushes to create some different textures and different colors and it kind of just looks like a big bruise at this point, um, which is fine. I think bruises are pretty, not in a weird sadistic way, but like colorful wise. I'm just taking a few different uh, brushes to create a stippled effect with the white and create some depth to the little planet here. If you guys don't know what The Little Prince is, it's a book that was written by a French author and then translated into English in the uh, 40s, I think. And it's about this man who is an aviator and he meets a little prince in the desert and it's kind of a children's book, kind of an adult book. It's one of those that you can get something from no matter what age you are. Um, but I just think it's the cutest little book and it's got some great quotes in it. So here I am painting my little prince dude. This little guy was very small so it took me a long time to get all the details down. And you'll notice that there's a lot of camera changes and camera angle changes because this video was a little bit hard to film. It was hard to get the right shape for his little head there. Now I'm going to paint his hair, his bright yellow hair, kind of looks like Lisa Simpson. And then I'm going over some of the little details with the tiniest of brushes and some black paint just to create some outlines. I don't want you baby, you don't want me, so meet me tomorrow and darling we'll see what we see. Now I'm going over everything again with a pencil, so I'm drawing all the flowers and the trees again. Under the black sky, we'll walk together, maybe you and I, you and I. So then I just go around the planet to create some shadows and make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. I started doing a black outline and then decided very quickly that I did not like it, so then I just went around with some gray paint 
to give it a little bit more of a sharpness. I don't want you, baby, and you don't want me. So maybe tomorrow, darling, we'll see what we see. All right, and now the camera has switched because in the middle of filming, my camera died. Like, actually died. It actually broke. <laughs> um, so I'm just painting the flowers. I'm doing little red petals. And what you didn't see was I did a lot of little detail work, um, like the prints and the trees. And that happened off camera. So baby, meet me tomorrow. And then I did a thumbs up because I thought I was done, but I wasn't. <laughs> I did some stars and some other little planets around the background. And if you're going to do this, I would recommend using paint for the black part instead of pen because I used a pen and it bled and really pretty bad. So use paint, not pen. And then up next you'll see that I put a quote on top of the planet. Um, I think either way looks good, whichever way you want. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye!